Okay, hello everyone, it's Gavin Birchall here again from GavinBirchall.com. Great to have you back today, and in today's training, I want to share with you how you should use a single or double opt in in your email marketing business, and when you should use this single or double opt in op option, and some insights into how and when I use the single or double opt in option for any new leads that come into my business too. There's going to be some useful tricks, tips and insights, like I say, into what I do to become successful with the single or double in option. And there's going to be some ideas for how you can utilize the, these options for your own online business too. Now I get asked a lot of questions from my new students, especially newcomers online, who are looking to build a solid foundation for their own email marketing, internet marketing, online business. So this is quite a common concern for newcomers especially. So with that said, let's get on with today's training. Okay, so let's start off by talking about what the differences are between the two and what you can actually do with them. So basically, a single opt-in is where someone automatically gets added to your email list as soon as they enter their email address into the opt-in box to either claim your free gift or to join your newsletter or anything else that they require in terms of getting more information from you and your regular emails. So basically, they just get added to that list straight away with no extra hoops to jump through in terms of joining your list. Double opt-in is basically where they sign up as usual using a single opt-in, but then they receive an email asking them to confirm that they've actually opted into your list. So basically, there's an extra step with double opt-in for your new leads and subscribers to do before they actually join your list. For me personally, I like to use a single opt-in in my online business for most of my campaigns. This just allows me to get at least all of my opt-ins or leads that enter their email address into the opt-in form onto my list without them, like I say, having to jump through any extra hoops to get on my list and get more information from me. At the end of the day, time is key here. So with that said, that means that for some people, sometimes, you know, life can get in the way. You can get distracted. And if they were to get distracted before they were about to confirm their subscription with you to join your list, then they never may join your list ever again. Because basically, if they get distracted, leave their computer and forget to confirm their subscription with you via the double opt-in option then they may forget about you and never join your list and become great customers of yours and as i say in this bullet point here these people could go on to become some of your best ever customers so for me i personally don't like to take that risk and i much prefer to get them onto my list at least first and foremost and then I can at least touch base with them so once they're on your list you know they're on, on your list basically and they can always unsubscribe after that anyway plus I hardly ever get any complaints from my subscribers and new leads that enter my business saying that they didn't ask to sign up to my list of course you can get bogus emails and people using other people's emails to sign up to your list but very very few and far between and it's just much better for me personally to get them onto my list and then I can obviously begin to build relationships with them and the ones that didn't ask to sign up can always hit the good old unsubscribe button anyway and leave your list for good okay so what if and when should you use both okay so there's a couple of options here if you wanted to use single and double opt-in, okay? And you might be asking, well, why would I want to do that? I'm going to explain now so all will be a lot clearer and you can then go and use this 
mindset in your own online business to use single or double opt-in. What you can do is always use single opt-in, okay? This is a rule I set in my business for any paid traffic that you generate leads from for your business. So if you're paying for traffic, then I would always recommend sending this, setting this to single opt-in, your email autoresponder, whether you're using Aweber or GetResponse, okay? So any paid traffic that you pay for out of your business, I would always set my email autoresponder to single opt-in. This way you can get as many new leads onto your list fast and try and make back all of that investment that you've invested into paid traffic and even make a profit, okay, back from your paid tra traffic as quickly as you possibly can. And that way, once you recoup those initial investments or even make a profit, what you can do is then scale up your numbers a lot faster in your business, build a bigger list, which equals obviously more money and more profits for your business. So basically, it becomes a well-oiled machine that keeps on turning these leads into customers. You're making money back. You're at least breaking even or making a profit. Then you can simply reinvest that back into getting more leads and traffic, paid traffic and fresh leads into your business. And it just becomes a self-sustaining business model. As for double opt-in, you can always use this, okay? This is another rule that I use in my business. Whenever you're generating leads using free traffic generation strategies. So this could be from your blog, any traffic that comes in from search engine traffic, or anything, any referral traffic or anything like that is of course you're not paying that, paying for that kind of traffic. There's YouTube videos, of course, if you're doing YouTube videos on a consistent basis, and if you own Facebook groups, then of course any leads or traffic that you generate from those groups or posts that you add to your group pages, etc., with links that allow people to go through and sign up to your list, and that is of course free. But at the end of the day, there really isn't any such thing as free traffic as it's costing you time to create the YouTube videos, to get your blog up and running and set that up with fresh content on a consistent basis. And of course, Facebook groups, these can take a lot of time to get those Facebook groups going in terms of generating fresh leads that may want to join your groups and then of course build relationships and then of course get them to become your subscribers so it's costing you time at the end of the day anyway so paid traffic is the fastest way to build your list and grow your business anyway but of course you can add these free traffic methods into your business as you move forward anyway and as it says here i'm going to going to go into this in much greater detail in any, any future trainings that I create anyway. Okay, so let's move on to the next stage. So apparently your email deliverability rates are supposed to be higher when you actually use the double opt-in option. But uh, what I've discovered after testing is that 50%, up to 50% of those people don't even bother to confirm their subscription, either when you use the double opt-in feature anyway. So any traffic that's coming in, if 50% aren't even bothering to confirm the email that you send out to them, they're not joining your list anyway. So why not just use the single opt-in option as much as you can and at least get them onto your list first. So for me again, I'd just rather get them onto my list first and deal with any complaints later. Again, this is entirely up to you now what you choose to do in your own online marketing, email marketing business. But my take on things through my own experiences when using the single or double opt-in features is to use the single opt-in option with paid traffic at least. That is, for me, that is an absolute must that you must use a single opt-in option for paid traffic and then it's up to you whether you want to use that for any free, so-called free traffic generation that you generate for your online business anyway. 
So those are some insights and rules you could possibly use for your own online business when it comes to deciding whether you want to use single or double opt-in option for your own online email marketing business. If you found the information that I've shared with you helpful, then you can get more helpful videos, tips, tricks and information by watching the rest of this video that will show you how. Or you can simply click the live link below this video underneath the published on date if you're watching this video right now at YouTube. I'm looking forward to helping you in the next trainings. Thanks for watching this training today. Take care and I'll see you in the next training tutorial. I make money online using the exact tips and strategies that I'm showing you here right now on YouTube. So to get access to all of my videos, there's just three short steps I want you to take right now. Step one, hover your mouse over the subscribe button and simply click it. Step two, click the like button. And step three, finally, below the published on text, there is a hyperlink where you can come directly to my website and get in contact with me directly via email for any help you need in terms of tips and strategies for making more money online. This is Gavin from GavinBirchall.com and I look forward to hearing from you soon.